morning. Well, it's it's a bit of a murky day in Derby here. It's raining, and I thought about doing the video um, outside somewhere for the podcast by Emerita, but I'm sorry about it. I'm a bit of a wuss. Didn't want to get my hair wet, so I thought I'd do it inside with a cup of coffee and a nice chocolate biscuit. This is the, but what I also wanted to show you is that this is my kitchen and it's here that I write some of the stories. And not only here, but I also write them upstairs in my study. But I thought I'd just show you where the stories are actually written. And you just might be interested in that. So this is Emerita. Mmm, the coffee. Can I eat the biscuit? I always break the biscuits. I never eat into them. I just break them. Don't know why. It's just one of my um, little quirks. Anyway, besides the point. Emerita, my little Swiss girl. She is the story of. She's doing a rescue. And um, I, I put her in Davos in Switzerland, and she's there for two reasons. One, Davos is a small town, it's a bit of a backwater place in Switzerland, but every year it comes to the forefront of the world's attention because in late January, the World Economic Forum takes place there and you have world leaders, um, well-renowned scientists and top businessmen who go there to discuss world issues. So putting her there, I can actually touch on the issue of the World Forum. But also putting her there, of course Davos is in Switzerland, it's in the um, Swiss Alps. And it then gives me the opportunity to talk about avalanches because I put this story in January because that's when the Forum takes place in January. So here she is in Davos, talking to you a little bit about the World Economic Forum, but mainly about the avalanche, the rescue that she does with her dog, Gretel. And avalanches are um, very real things. They're very, they're very dangerous. And whilst, you know, when you go skiing in um, Switzerland or anywhere in the world, that's, you know, it's got mountains and the snow. Yes, it looks very idyllic, you know, with all the skiers out in their multicoloured outfits and they're having great fun. But underneath those layers of snow, can be water and that water then brings down the snow levels the snow and that makes the avalanches and they're highly dangerous and many people um, get serious injuries if they get caught up in a, an avalanche and of course but more so uh, they lose their lives so it's the story of Emerita with her St Bernard dog Gretel, along with her brother and father, rescuing the French ambassador's wife. How, because she, she's gone out on a skiing expedition because her husband's at the World Forum discussing world issues, but she's gone off with a group of people across country skiing and gets caught up in the avalanche. So by putting Emerita there, it's, it's a little story for you kids to, um, to to get to see a little bit about the World Economic Forum and what its significance is, but also touching on avalanches and how dangerous they can be. But it's also touching on, um, she's got quite a funny side to her, she's got quite a humorous side to her, and you'll see that at the end of the story. The, very, the punchline at the very end of the story is she's a little bit cynical, and it's quite a little humorous line, and I put it there deliberately just to make you laugh. So that's the video done. This is where I have, um, you know, written, you know, lots of the stories sitting here. And I think I actually wrote uh, Gia here in the kitchen. I wrote uh, Yeshe in the kitchen here. I wrote, um, who else did I write? I wrote Charlie here sitting in the kitchen. And I also wrote um, Anna Rue, 
my little uh, New Zealand boy. So now you can see kids where I've written stories. And I think that's, that's good for you to know where I've written them. Just brings things, you know, a little bit reality. Anyway, I'm going to eat my chocolate biscuit now with a nice cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even get my hair wet in all the rain outside there. Next week, I'm going to take you to Syria. This is the story of my refugee boy, Saif, and his brother, Zahid. It's quite a heartbreaking story. It's all about the two brothers coming across into Europe as refugees. Now, we all see this on the pictures, the harrowing pictures, but this is going to be Saif and his brother, Saheed next week. But for now, stay safe. See you in Syria.